Before 1921, type 1 diabetes was fatal. Children wasted away despite every treatment doctors tried. Medicine had no answer. A young Canadian surgeon, Frederick Banting, believed the pancreas made a sugar-controlling substance no one had isolated. His idea shut down the pancreas digestive cells so the hormone-producing islets remained, then extract the hormone. Given a tiny lab, basic tools, and a student assistant, Charles Best, Banting began experiments on dogs. One dog, Marjorie, became central. After her pancreas was removed, she developed severe diabetes. Banting injected her with their crude pancreatic extract. Her sugar dropped, her strength returned. She lived 70 days on daily injections. This was the first proof that the hormone, insulin, worked. Biochemist James Collip purified the extract further. On January 11, 1922, a 14-year-old boy, Leonard Thompson, received insulin. His recovery was dramatic. Diabetes was no longer a death sentence. In 1923, the Nobel Prize went to Banting and McLeod. Banting shared his award with Best. McLeod shared his with Collip. Insulin became one of medicine's greatest breakthroughs, and at the heart of it was Marjorie, the dog whose survival showed the world that diabetes could be treated. She is remembered as the dog who saved humanity.